Hello and welcome to this edition of Electric TV, powered by the NECA IBEW team, construction's finest electricians and electrical contractors. Televisions, like this one, are everywhere in our lives today. Instead of trying to find one with the game on, you'd be hard pressed to go any place where there isn't one. The TV, a main contributing factor for football in America's growth and popularity, was once thought as the beginning of the end of the stadium experience. But on this NFL-themed edition of Electric TV, we'll tell you why, after coming to this realization, NFL franchises are now doing whatever they can to reverse this trend, giving fans the best of both worlds on game day. When the Jacksonville Jaguars invite thousands of guests into their home on game day, the preparations look like that of any other NFL franchise, except when it comes to their scoreboards. This offseason, the Jaguars installed not one, but two here at Everbank Field. And they're not just the biggest in sports, they're the biggest anywhere in the world. Sorry, Dallas Cowboys fans. And they were installed by NECA contractor Miller Electric and IBEW Local 177. Each are 60 feet tall and 366 feet long. Here's what that means in real terms. 366 feet is longer than the 100 yard field below. Each board is made up of 15,000 individual modules. And with a total of 35 million LEDs, when the power is put to them, their picture qualities, in a word, blow your tiny flat screen measured in inches out of the water. The video board strategically is designed to uh, ensure that the in-game experience for NFL fans is uniquely different, it's compelling, it gives people a reasons to perhaps leave their home because they know those things that are important to them at home, they'll still be able to get inside an NFL stadium. This is fundamentally four different high-def images stitched together and created on top of one another to make that wide canvas. If you're looking from the farthest part of the stadium with one of our lenses at a player on the field, you can see individual mustache hairs of that player from several hundred feet away, clearly clear as day, as if we were 18 inches from one another. As giant as these boards are, they had a rather narrow installation timeline. The NFL season would begin with or without them. Enter Miller Electric and its IBEW crew. They can get that high quality uh, job done on time. They can get that high quality job done you know, within the financial parameters that are established up front. And they can be a responsible company and they can make sure that the workers that they bring to the job are well-trained, highly motivated, positive members of the community. And you know, quite honestly, we weren't surprised to find that with Miller and the, the employees through IBEW. A project like this could not afford to not have union electricians on the job and NECA contractors. We have members that are trained from everything from doing the heavy construction to doing the voice and data. Uh, all of it plays together and our members know how to do it. We've developed a classification of CWCEs, which are construction wiremen and construction electricians. And by using them as well as our journeymen and our foremen, we're able to bring our composite rate down to be extremely competitive with our non-union contractors. Once we uh, got the thrilling news that we were going to be a part of the team of doing it. We were, had an internal meeting where we had our senior vice president of construction operations. We had our vice president that heads up the stadiums and then we had our project manager on powers. We had the superintendent Clinton Snyder and some other folks in the room to number one to find out what the project consisted of as far as labor wise. What could we prefab before we came to the stadium? What things could we do methodically behind the scenes that would help make us successful? The job went well. It's, uh, we ended up with about 45 men. 
on the job. Uh, we had a short time frame to finish it in. Uh, the guys did a real good job of bringing it in on time. We have miles of cables in each individual uh, scoreboard. Uh, there's over 390 eight foot by 10 foot thousand pound modules that make up one panel of this display and each one has a 30 amp circuit and also has a fiber optic cable and those cables come back to a head end within each board and then has a home run of fiber optic that runs back to the control room and that's how they communicate and talk to each other throughout the building. I would say it's the equivalent of the fans big screen, the second screen that they're using to keep track of NFL Red Zone, and the smartphone that they're using to keep track of out-of-town scores. If the board's big enough, you, you have the ability and the capacity to communicate all of that. As a fan, it's awesome. I get to bring my family here. I get to bring my friends here. I get to bring clients here. I get to bring associates and say, I was a part of something that's never been done before and it adds so much to the Jaguar experience. There's not a fan anywhere in the NFL gonna get the experience that they get here. Looking at these boards, watching the game, it's exciting. You know, we could not have been happier with the quality of work that was exhibited, and you know, I think it shows in terms of the performance of the boards. The comforts of home are great, but so too is the experience of live, in-person action. That'll never go away. At least that's the hope of every sports franchise no matter the sport. In Jacksonville, it's the best of both worlds, unlike anything else or anywhere else on the planet. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Geritano. We'll see you next time.